Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a revolting review, a Christmassy one. So, in this one, I am reviewing the film Black Christmas 2006 Remake. Silencio um, you know, recently reviewed the 1974 original in his Christmas edition of Silent Reviews. In this one, I thought I would review the uh, 2006 remake. So, uh, this one, uh, this Black Christmas, should have got the wiki page ready to read all the information. Um, ah, here we go. So, this one is um, directed by Glenn Morgan, written and directed by Glenn Morgan, based on the film Black Christmas by A. Roy Moore, starring Katie Cassidy, Michelle um, Fatchenberg or Summit, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Arthur Hudson, you know, Kate Hudson's brother and Goldie Hawn's son, uh, Lacey Chadber and Kirsty Cloak and 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 Andrea Martin. So, like I said, this is a remake of the 1974 classic that Silencio recently reviewed. Getting a bit hot in the Christmas hat, but yeah, this is a um, remake of the 1974 film where a sorority house, sorority sisters, um, you. Know, tell each other the story of Billy who was a deranged killer in this but was a kid with this condition that made his skin yellow and he was abused by his mother and sexually assaulted by her and then he becomes this deranged killer and he escapes on Christmas Eve and causes terror in the sorority house but we soon discover that it's not him that's causing all the trouble it's his sister daughter whilst Billy is making his way home from escaping the mental hospital and, you know, is back and mean as ever. So, um, let's get on to my likes and dislikes about this one. First of all, the likes. Uh, this I like because it was the first ever Christmassy horror film I ever saw. Yeah, my first ever real taste of festivity and horror was from this film. And I actually enjoyed it. I didn't find it scary. I found it quite interesting um but i kind of glad i did see the 1974 original because in the 1974 film we don't see billy at all we see little glimpses of him we hear him making creepy phone calls but in this one he actually gets a lot more character development and a lot more backstory which a lot of people don't like uh, from this remake me i don't really mind it I like that we got a little bit of a, a backstory, bit of a motivation with him, but like I say, I kind of get what they mean by that because in the original, it is quite unsettling not knowing who or what he is or what he's doing. But in this, um, yeah. Um, yeah, in this there was a bit of child abuse of his. Now my girlfriend's seen this and she doesn't like this one. She doesn't like the whole child abuse themes, which i got to say I agree with it because they can be very difficult to watch in films. So I didn't really like that but the rest of the film I thought was okay. We had practical effects in there. We uh, even had references to the original film where they put the bag on their head. Uh, and I also like what they did with the kills. You know, in the, this the kills, they put the bag on their head and they gouge out their eyes and use them as Christmas ornaments on the tree. I also liked in the flashback where Billy kills his mother, he cuts bits of her skin off and then bakes it like gingerbread cookies and eats them. I thought that was pretty a pretty unique kill. I'd never seen anything like that before, so I thought that was quite good and creative. Um, I also liked the unsettlingness of this film. The, there were a few little jump scares, which I will admit did make me jump the first time I watched it. Um, we get, you know, just... You know, this is like a festive slasher. I mean, there's the remake that's coming out, or it's just come out, uh, which, again, takes a different approach, but, I, you know, you know, maybe they want to try and make it not shot for shot. This wasn't shot for shot anyway, but I thought it was a pretty okay remake. Um, my 
you know, there's actually an alternate ending to this. There's one ending where Billy actually dies in the fire of the house when it's burning and his sister daughter tries to kill the final girl. But then there is an alternate one where Billy survives the fire and he tries to kill the final girl and she fights Billy off and he falls onto a Christmas tree and gets impaled by that spiky thing that you can put on top of Christmas trees, that ornament, the spiky ornament. I don't know what it's called, but if you know, if you have any idea what I'm on about, let me know in the comments. So, um, yeah, um, this was a pretty okay remake. Probably not for everyone, but me personally, I like this one. After all, it did introduce me to Christmas horror films, and since then I've been watching them every year around this time of year. So, um, my dislikes in this, I guess, like I say, there is a, they do give a bit of more, too much away on the character of Billy. Um, I don't like some of the dumb decisions that they make in this film. Uh, I particularly didn't really like Oliver Hudson's character much. He was a bit of a jerk and you kind of didn't feel really sorry for him when he got killed or when he bit the dust. But um, yeah, I like I like a lot of the sorority girls in this, especially Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She's an actress that I've start, I, I like because you know, I've seen her from... First film I saw her in was Final Destination and seen her in so many other films. Uh, so yeah, I liked her character as well. So, um, yeah, enough with, um, so yeah, my likes, my, so, any final thoughts and ratings? Um, I thought this was alright, so, yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to give Black Christmas 2006 Remake, I'm going to give this, I'll give it three candy canes out of five. Three candy canes out of five for Black Christmas 2006. So, that has been my... In fact, no, not candy canes. This is a horror channel. I'm going to do it by horror. So, no, forget the candy canes. I'm giving this three Krampus switches out of five. Yes, that's what I'm doing the Christmassy ratings on. Three Krampus switches out of five. So, that has been my revolting review on... Black Christmas 2006. Have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description. So be sure to check all that out. And yeah, until next time, don't have nightmares.